Hola gente, I'm Drew and this is gonna be the last episode of Fatal Frame. So in the last episode we played as a den and we tried to protect all the people that were in the house because apparently we are the only ones that are not really affected by the rumbling of Mount Hikami. But in this episode, we have three character stories that we have to deal with. But I don't know how this is gonna go. I hope it can fit in just one episode, but we'll see. We have Yuri's Arch, which she's doing all right with Hisoka, but I don't know how that's gonna go because Hisoka was a pillar. So we'll see. Then then <laughs> that's the one that we know was gonna happen. At least I think I do. I hope he can stay alive but mm, I don't have high hopes for him. And then Miu, I think Miu is the one that's doing the best out of the three of them because she's with her mother and all that and I hope she can stay with her mother, but we'll see. <sighs> anyway, Yuri, Ren and Miu go to meet their fates. Caught up in the madness of Mount Hikami, Yuri, Miu and Ren all make their way here, each for their own reasons. A heavy fog descends as if to snuff out all hope of escape. Oh, yay, let's go. I don't need anything, so let's go. Oh, last draw, bright from black water. That is such a gorgeous scene. That is amazing. The glow of the dark sun fades away and the sleeping girls regain consciousness. The mountain calls to our three protagonists. Their individual mysteries await resolution. Okay, okay, okay. I've been feeling kind of off today and I don't know if I could play this game, but oh my god. Right now, I'm so much better. I really want to know what happens. And this is Yuri. This is Yuri's past, I think. Yeah. Or a vision? Who is that? Of course. Is that ghost gonna do the same thing as the first time we saw the future? Yes. Yes. But the last time we saw this part, she was in school. Now she's in front of Kurosawa's cafe. Oh, poor girl. Okay, so first off, we're gonna do Yuri's part. That's where we have been in that place. That's where we found the ghost that died because of his own car. Gosh. No, you shouldn't. I'm glad Hisoka was there. Oh, oh, where are we? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. we're all safe. Oh, I would hate to wake up like that. I would hate it. 
it's giving me Silent Hill vibes because of the fog. The door is open. The shrine of the water. It's calling me. It's waiting for me. I I must go. Okay. Uh, let's go get this thing. Oh, it's my diary. The doctor at the hospital said I should keep one. That I should record my thoughts, dreams, things I could see and hear. I write them down to read later after I calm down. In the end, he still didn't believe me. That's sad. I dreamt of a shrine maiden, of becoming a shrine maiden. She lifted her blindfold and glanced at a dying man, then covered her eyes and wept. I didn't cry. I didn't even cry when Hisoka stopped me from jumping. Hisoka cried, though. I wonder when I last cried. As a child, I used to cry at the sunset. Now, when I see the sunset, I just stare, transfixed. It feels like I'm melting away, being called away to the other side. That's a really bad sign, Pao. So, let's go. I don't even want to go see... Yeah, I'm going to see if Hisoka is there, actually. Because I don't know if Hisoka is going to still be there, if this is all an illusion, if this is real life, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Ooh, thanks to read. Okay. Oh, okay. What was her name? Akari? We're seeing Hisoka's past. Hisoka did say this day would come, right? Like, when Yuri knows her past and all that. I think this is going to be a heavy episode with a lot of sadness. So at least we know that happened. He took his journal. I dreamt of a river. It was the river of death and we had to cross it. Everyone fought the current. Yuri, it is. Course. Until one by one, they grew weary and were swept away. I couldn't save them. In the end, I was swept away alone. Gosh, Sensei. Everyone was... Oh. Everyone was fighting against the current, moving as one. I felt relieved that we were all connected. Then I woke up. When I touched Yuri on that cliff, I saw her anguish, her survivor's guilt, Yuri. her fixation with death and her hesitation to chase it. Maybe I'm drawn to Yuri and she to me because we are both fighting against the current. It's somewhat of a cute idea also really sad. I'm gonna go see if Mio and Miku are here, just in case there are more things to read and stuff. They are here. Wow. This is so sad. Mio just wants to be with her mother, but her mother is just thinking about her beloved brother. And let's see if Rui and Ren are here. Yes, okay, they are here. Pretty, are you okay? Oh, I can touch them? Oh my god. We're gonna, we're gonna see Dewey's... Oh my god. Oh, 
どちらでもないままえー、ルイノーコーシュアムソーサーアイワンダントゥビーハッピーバディスジェスノコネハッピーナイケノタチレンああレン I hope you're fine レン Let's go to Mahikami I've seen everyone here, right? Yeah, we saw Miku and. Oh, oh, what is this? It's a book about an old legend. It looks like it was written by the folk race. The Shadow Spring Tale. They say, o Mahikami, the Shadow Spring is here, but it is on the other side. It is a curious saying. It must mean that the spring is both of this world and yet not of this world. The black water flows from the Shadow Spring. Within it lies the underworld itself. For centuries, the shrine maidens have protected the Shadow Spring, believing it to be the bridge between worlds. Tales abound of such bridges. Are there people all over the country protecting these bridges as Mahikami does, by droning shrine maidens? Perhaps Osa Kurosawa, the last immortal flower, was one such sacrifice. I believe so, yeah. I really do. <sighs> okay, let's just go to Mahikami. The Mikomori hot springs? Did that say that? Hot springs? Miyamani, Kuroki Sama Arinis. Aruiva, Kono Yono Basoniwa Arana. Yep, that's saying. I love how they just keep on going to Mahikami when it's night time. I've not seen it once when it was daytime. Oh, these are the hot springs. Okay. So, where should I. What's it? Bright beckoning. Okay, I cannot go anywhere else. Let me see. Oh, I can come here. What? Wait. Why can I come here? It usually just tells me not to go to places. Wait, let me see if I can find something. Okay, so they are opening the map so that I can get as much film and stuff as possible. I'm guessing. Okay, so that means I'm gonna go on a hunt for objects. Oh, let me see if our friend is here. The first doll that we saw that I hated so much and now I love because it was only one. It's here! Look at her! Of course you're so creepy. <gasps> crop! 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 Okay. He's that? Yeah. This is the time when I should start doing some upgrades on my camera. I need load of speed. I hate being so slow. Uh, sensor capabilities. Yeah, why not? And I am gonna upgrade that. I'm gonna change it to this, I think. Okay, I think this is fine for now. Thank you. Okay, and this is where I always had a heart attack because Rui was about to jump. I remember. Oh, no, fuck. You guys are always together. Okay, you don't give me anything. I understand, okay. You can hold any more, please. Okay, that's good. Okay, I think we're done with this place. Let's go to the other one here and let's see what we find. This is the station. Okay, good. I really like this part. Interesting that I didn't have to fight any enemies there. Not gonna go play though. Okay, let's go. At least we know Hisoka is back home and she's alright. Which is something that I didn't really think that was gonna happen, so yeah. And I'm gonna prefer these just in case. Because I do remember the falling woman. Oh. That's really sad. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, okay. Hi. Good. Good, I'm getting both of them. Oh, I like this. Give me points. Good. Yes, yes, you're dead. Oh, I didn't want to use my purified numbers. I only have three and I have no idea how it also will destroy me. Oh, purified numbers, yes, please. Why would you have to kill them? What's wrong with you? Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Yes, good. Yes, thank you. Okay, let me get... Underwater note. That's always great. Bloodstained note. The man dropped this. They're all dead. I am alone at last. I cannot die a proper death. But that doesn't matter. That one thing is mine. It is mine alone. I crushed them. I took back what they saw. What they stole from me. Now there is no one left to see what I am. What I've done. I can die. Alone. Of course. Oh wow, you're different. Yes, thank you. Are you gonna give me a story? No, okay. So no one has a story. At least not ones that I haven't seen, that's good, because in the first two or three episodes I didn't really get any of the stories, so I'm glad I actually caught most of them. Oh, oh okay, first hand, first hand. Let's go. It's interesting that we are actually just going around the whole map. It's fun. Oh gosh, no, not this place, this place is not fun. I keep getting lost in this place. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god. The hand woman. Oh my god. Get them, get them. I got both of them, that's good. Oh, great. Okay, where am I? Maybe... Yes. Okay, that's the way that I have to go. Let me see if I can find something else through here. Oh, really? Is that it or the woman that died? Like, pretty you keep... What? So I don't have to fight them, good. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll translate that. <laughs> it didn't have any subtitles. She said, she said. Thank you. Thanks. Let's go. Hey, I gotcha. He got me done on. New exit. What? Where are we going now? And why are we here? Oh, this is a tunnel. Interesting. What? Oh, okay. Get it? Good. What is he doing? Okay. 
Oh, zero. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, we can't go this way. Okay. Let's go the other way. Because maybe there's something here. Oh. Tall <gasps> lady! I didn't think I would... I'm honored! Ghost, you're so cool. You're already... Ghost, she's so big. Oh yeah, that's true. We couldn't... Oh, we couldn't get her. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Forest station. The unfathomable forest. Where am I? To warm cavern. How did I? What? I am so confused. What is happening? Where am I? I know there are places to construction site? Oh! Oh yeah, that's true. We read some things about construction. <laughs> See the fence? See that fence? I thought we couldn't come here. But I guess we can? Let's go to where we were supposed to go. Oh yes, more. Okay, okay, okay. I know where I am. I'm not gonna go anywhere else. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go get these. Let me read these. What are these signed journal? That woman, the shrine maiden, she's calling to me. At first, the glance is done with a touch or an embrace. By the end, thoughts can be taken onto oneself with a look. The true glance. All people have secrets. Being glanced allows them to return to the water in peace, without secrets or suffering. I can see you as well. You're fixated with death. Oh my god, she's talking to me. You're afraid of being alone. I shall embrace you. Come to me. Let me help. What? Um, she was talking to Yudi. I... Okay, that was really creepy. I was not expecting that. My something there, I think. Oh, here again. How many of you are there? You're dead already. I couldn't get you, that's fine. Oh, oh, hello. Woman with an umbrella. Hi. Get it. Oh, I need 14, not gonna look. Seriously? That's how she died? I... <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna ask questions. That's just how she died. Oh, no, 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 again. I hate you. I actually do. Okay. We're gonna get him. <sighs> Let's come here. I know where a zero film is, and I have to go get it. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Zero film. Great. And let's go. Let's leave. Oh, no. I thought I was lucky because no one spawned. But yes, okay. You were spawned. I couldn't get you. Okay, that's fine. The treasure hunt that I'm doing is so exhausting. It's also really hot in Spain today. I'm getting really tired right now. Yes, okay. This is the part. Where the children were, yeah. Okay, and now the last one. Good, okay. You know, we've never gone through here. To Shrine of the Female. Let me see. 
Oh, okay. So this was the path. The whole Dory gate wasn't to get somewhere different. Interesting. Zero. Good. Okay. Let me see if I can go through here. Because I've always tried, but I never could. To the wound current. Okay, we can now. Let me see where this leads to. Okay. This is what we could never open. Interesting that it's now open. It's really cool that we can now see where everything leads to. Okay, this is where I think we're supposed to go. So let's see. Are we gonna fight Shirakiku or something? I hope not. Let's go to the room cavern. As if we had not been there in this episode two or three times. Okay, room cavern. And this is Haruka by the way. Oh, that was so sad. She said it was a promise for Yuhi. Oh, that was really sad. Oh, not again. Thank you. This is gonna be such a pain to edit. <laughs> I keep thinking about it. I hope Haruka doesn't come back again in here. Because it'll be a pain. Okay. No, Haruka, I told you not to come back again. Come on, man. Oh my god, there's some- Oh, for you here, you're together! You two are together! Oh my god, this is so nice! Actually, I'm really happy. Wow, Haruka saved me from Yuki. Thank you. You kind of died together now? Does that count? Oh, okay. I'm at the forest station again. Where did it have to go? Oh, yeah, okay. I know where it had to go. Shrine of the Ephemeral. Which means I'm gonna go to see the children again. Oh no. Of course you would do that. No, come on, leave me alone. You died, thank you, gosh. <sighs> oh, come on. Thank you. Okay, to the shrine of the ephemeral. Finally. Gosh. <sighs> okay, this is good. Let's go. How do you even get to the shrine of the ephemeral if it's not through here? Actually, let me see. Oh, through the station, that's right. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! I knew there was gonna be a hand. Let's go finally to the shrine of the ephemeral. Oh no, 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 no. I fuck. I used the mirror stone on these. Are you guys on? Oh gosh, thank god. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go this way. I need. I need zero film. Come on. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you for dying, gosh. Oh my god. Just to get the zero. If it's not there, I might just go insane. Okay, this gotta be a zero film. Thank you. Okay, so how many do we have? We have four zero film, that's good. Oh no, no, I knew it, I knew it. Thank you for your points. Gosh! Thank you. Let's go, let's go. Yuri, please, go faster. Let's go to the shrine of the ephemeral, please. I might need to take a break before... Embrace me. Wow. Is that how you flirt, lady? Gosh. You've gotta learn how to flirt. Anyway, what I was saying, I might need to take a break before we go to where we actually need to go because, gosh, she's taken the boat of passage to the shrine of the water. Whenever a pillar crumbles, whenever a shrine maiden falls, the rest of us, bound by water, must take on those emotions. 
I have to glance so many deaths. The pain is overflowing. The final thoughts of the dead whirl like a maelstrom. I cannot handle anymore. My heart has reached its limit. Oh, that's so sad. Gosh. Wait, scene? Are we getting a scene here? Because I wanted to take a break before we get to fight also. Oh. Who is this? I thought this was Sudan, but I think it's the... Um, it's Aso, right? And that's Ose! And that's Ren when he was a child. She became a maiden, that's true. And she was seven. Killed her, but no, it was just he was taking a token. I think it's like a piece of hair or something. Wow, I must have passed out. This mist isn't a good thing. No, it isn't. Is it really okay? <laughs> What? What? In my study? Do I have to leave this house? Yeah. Let me see if everyone else is okay. Me and Amigo are still here, right? Ah, they are. <laughs> There's a bed tucked away behind a desk. But there is no... <laughs> Okay, so there is um, no Hisoka in there. It's just an illusion. Let's see how this is doing without Yuri. Yuri's gone. Yep. Has she been taken back to the mountain again? Uh, yeah, kind of. It was also not the mountain, but yeah. Let's go to my studio. Was it? Actually, yeah. We have not seen Ren's apartment. Are we actually gonna see it? I can't stop thinking about what we said. What I'm looking for is in my study? What does that mean? Well, I... Uh, it's either the hair from Shiragiku... Okay, we're not gonna see anything else from here. It's either the hair from Shiragiku or the photo of Ose. The camera obscura was in this box when I found it. This must really belong to Dr. Ase. It looks like there's something else inside. Is this hair? <gasps> yes! Shirakiku's hair! That girl in my dreams. The one I met in the Shrine of Dolls. This ribbon looks like hers. There was a notebook underneath the bundle of hair. Was this the original owner of the box? Did Dr. Asa write this? How long has it been since I found it? That ceremony. Was it real? If not, then what is this hair? My memories are hazy. I was caught up in the passion of the ceremony. 
I brought down the glade, then darkness. I made a promise to find that girl and bring her the token. I feel like she's still waiting, even though it's been longer than I care to think about. Even at my age? No, because of my age. That innocent promise we made weighs heavily on me. A forgotten promise, one that cannot be unmade. Where can I possibly take this token that the promise might be fulfilled? I don't think this is from Dr. Asso. If this was left behind by Dr. Asso, then the dream of the ritual was a memory of his? Wait, that girl, she's waiting for the person she gave this lock of her to, for Dr. Asso. They're both waiting for Asso? What did he see on Mahikami? And how is it related to the current events? This photograph and the lock of hair might lead to the answers I seek. What is going on? I thought this was all then, but well, maybe it's maybe it's all then, and he's forgotten, or he's like a relative of Asso. His name doesn't say Asso. It's Louis' journal. Something's written in it. Mister Hojo won't choose me. I can't do anything about that. But I'm fine. I'm fine with it. The more I say that, the more I want to cry. The tears wash me clean. Clean of my clingy possessiveness, my jealousy, my desire to give in to him. He doesn't have to choose me. I just want to be at his side for as long as he'll let me. He'll grow so used to me there, I'll become invisible to him. Like water, I will vanish. I will become transparent, colorless. Do ye? Gosh. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Where do we have to go? Is this Dr. Asso? The only person who left Mahikami alive. But what was he doing here? What did he take pictures of? If I try photographing what he's looking at, I may just find some clues. That is Dr. Asso. What is it? Here, okay. Oh, what is that? The path leading up the mountain. This place used to be called Maiden Grove. This is where pilgrims chose the Shrine Maiden to accompany them. Wow, okay. A Shrine Maiden who would oversee their demise. <laughs> Did he commit suicide? Why would he? Why would he? I'm... I'm... What? Dr. Asso's records too. These look like Dr. Asso's notes. Are they from when he visited the mountain? The Shrine Maiden's Grove. I received a special invitation to visit this mountain, where only people who return to the water are allowed to go. The mountain whence none return alive. This mountain has a unique custom. They believe water to be holy. The people here yearn for a proper death. People come here chanting out wanting to be water. They are so sincere. I think I am starting to believe them. Wow. So many people with the same belief. If this is carried on through generations, perhaps their prayers will be answered. Wow. Let's go find him. Wow, okay. Um, so I have no idea what's going on with Ren and Aso. My bet is that they are related in some kind of way or that they simply just look really alike because they do. But I'm not so sure about that because he has Aso's camera. And also, has Aso committed suicide? Because he came here, I don't know. This is the pool of purification. Pilgrims would undergo a rite of purification here. Soaking in these waters would make them one with the mountain and bring them closer to the world of the dead. The shrine maidens always kept their raven black hair soaked. They were known as maidens of black water. Oh. How did they manage to get their hair?
hair always wet? That's my question. Because it's gotta dry in so at some point, right? Like, is it just because it stays water? Or did they have like small bottles of water <laughs> with them all the time? And they just kept on like throwing them over their heads or something. Backwards 3. In the past, Dr. Aso visited the mountain and took photographs. The air is so clean here, calm, pure water flows, and the mist is full of vital energy. Everything here has an aura. In the woods, one can feel not only the animals and trees, the water itself has an energy. I understand now. The water is alive. We are born from water, and to water we return. The water connects us all. Perhaps these dry maidens with their well-honed senses perceive this aura and lead the people to the proper death. Here, in this place, I am not alone. Wow. It's all about not being alone. To the unfathomable forest. I am not gonna move that much with it in because... Um, I just wanted Yuri to have everything that she could because she's the main character, you know? So I'm just gonna get what I see within. Also, I don't feel like going through everything again, you know? Haha! <laughs> you can't catch me! Let's go here. Are we all going to the same place? Oh gosh. Gimme! Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, come on! Thank you. Now let's go this way. Gosh, okay. Also, good. Who is this? I do have... Oh, Shirakiku. The girl with the white hair. She gave a token to Dr. Aso when he was a boy and later came to this mountain. Then she waited for him to come back to her, guided by the token. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What did Dr. Aso see here on the mountain? This mountain reminds me of the time I spent on Mount Kagiroi in my youth. Back then, I believed without a doubt in an invisible world. When did I stop? And why? This mountain air has a walk in a long forgotten memory. I was dozing under a tree and dreamt of that ceremony. I received something that day in my dream, in my past. Was it a dream or did it really happen? I, I think it did happen. I got your token and they keep thinking I'm here. So, okay, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna come here because I think this is exactly where I have to go. With Shiragiku. Or not, okay. Okay, this way is the other way. Is there going to be an ASO here or something? <laughs> Shirayuku, that is so sad. This journal, did that white haired girl leave these? I'm not like the others. My hair and eyes make me special. I was told I wouldn't leave long, that I wouldn't even leave to be seven years old. They all hid from me, like they might cut something. Only he didn't run. Oh, when we played hide and seek, we hid together in our secret place. Nobody could find us there. Why did we ever leave? The first time I cried was when I had to leave that place. The ceremony is tomorrow. I'm so sad. Poor Shirayiku. She wasn't even. She wasn't even seven. Oh, it should be here, right? She was six. Gosh, 
I'm not saying much, but like there's a lot of things to take in. Poor girl. Oh my god. Shiragiku, I know you were one of my favorite characters. Shiragiku's journal 3. That girl left this journal here. Does she have some connection to Dr. Asu? No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? <laughs> At the ceremony of Mount Kagiroi, I cut the lock of my hair as a token and as a farewell. Oh, so she was in Kagiroi, but why is she in Mahigami now? I fell once. I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. I survived. When I opened my eyes, he was there. I am here because of him. That's why I chose him. On Mount Kagiroi, girls chosen to be pillars can pick their partner. I will be placed in a box and be taken to the mountain. We will exchange vows, be bound together for eternity. Creepy. Sad. Kunihiko is walking along the path. We're going exactly where Yuri is. Are we gonna fight together? Is that something that can happen? Let's go. We are going to the shrine. I was not expecting that. But well, I guess we're not going to the shrine. We're going to the um, wedding place. Let's go to the shrine of the... I don't know how it's called. When he calls the walking in the forest. Help. He's walking and he's in the forest. I agree. No more enemies. I am done with enemies, please. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I think you're dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get this. Yes, you are dead. I can hear you and I saw you. Freaking hand. I am so done. Let's go straight to it, please. Oh, why are you guys so slow in water? Come on. You can do this. Oh, I almost didn't get it. Could he cross in the Forbidden Valley? Okay. Could Asu be his father? No, right? Because he doesn't have the, um, the surname, Asu. But maybe he took his mother's surname? Oh my god, we are Yuri again. Are we Yuri again? Or are we Mew? I don't know. I guess we're Yuri. Because Yuri was the one to... The one wanted to come here. Yes, okay, we are Yuri. <sighs> Let me take these. I'm gonna get this other one. Oh, it changed. Oh no, that's two. Okay, good. 61, I can't hold any more of these. 14, I can't hold any more of these. Okay, I am gonna take a much needed break. Editing draw here. As I said before, I wanted this video to be just one whole video with the whole episode, but this episode took me five and a half hours to record. So this is gonna be this week's video, but in the next video we're gonna see everyone's stories and how they end up. Who do you think is gonna die? I have my bets on someone. 